Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing another Walmart grocery haul with you. Um, today I spent $180 and I got enough meals for two weeks as well as breakfast options and lunch options. We always like to have a dessert as well. So I will show you what I got when I get back home as well as my meal plan. So if you're interested in seeing what I got for dinner this week, then just keep watching. Okay, so now that we are back home, I'm gonna show you the meal plan really quick and then we will jump into the grocery haul. So. I do my meal plan Sunday to Saturday. So for Sunday, we're gonna be having for breakfast, waffle with sausage. Lunch, I've got um, popcorn chicken and french fries in the freezer. For dinner, I'm gonna be trying the cheeseburger soup with crescent rolls. I have never made cheeseburger soup before, but I've heard that it's really good, so I wanted to try it. Monday, we're gonna do chicken cob salad. Tuesday, lemon garlic shrimp. And noodles with green beans that's actually a new recipe as well Wednesday we're gonna be doing lemon pepper chicken with squash and zucchini with cauliflower rice um, that's gonna be a new recipe as well a lot of these are new recipes I wanted to try some uh, new recipes this week so um, Thursday we'll just do spaghetti garlic bread and hominy Friday we'll do um, chicken alfredo pizza Saturday a biscuits and gravy with bacon for breakfast Lunch, we're going to do air fryer hot dogs with pasta roni and mixed vegetables. Dinner on Saturdays, we always go out to eat. Sunday for breakfast, we'll do salmon rolls and bacon. Lunch, we'll do some frozen pizza or whatever we have on hand uh, for dinner. Planning on doing barbecue chicken grilled cheese with corn. Monday, we're going to do taco salad. Tuesday, homemade mac and cheese with ham and crescent rolls. Wednesday, we'll do Italian sausage with potatoes, peppers, and mushrooms. That's gonna be another sheet pan uh, recipe. Thursday, we'll do soup and sandwich or leftovers, whatever, whichever one is comes first. Um, Friday, we'll do chicken wings with onion rings. And then Saturday for breakfast, we'll do fried eggs with hash browns and sausage. And then lunch, we're gonna do just to fend for ourselves. So basically just cleaning out the pantry at the end of the two weeks um, before I need to go grocery shopping again. Um, and then for dinner, we'll do out to eat. Breakfast for work, I always like to plan this as well. We'll do eggs with sausage and hash browns. And then for dessert, I've got planned some brownies and apple crisp. So that is the meal plan for the next two weeks. Let me show you what I got from the grocery store. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick little overview. I've got things on two tables here. Don't mind my messy house, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so back here, I got some bananas, also some lettuce for salads. I got some of these matchstick carrots for salads as well. And then I got a squash and a zucchini. These are the saddest vegetables I've ever seen. <laughs> um, also got a cucumber for salads, a tomato for salads. I don't like tomato, but my husband does, so I wanted to kind of cater to him a little bit. And then I got a lemon for the lemon pepper, or sorry, lemon shrimp. Um, I don't normally cook with lemon, but I'm trying to be um, trying new recipes, so got a lemon. Also got a red pepper for our Italian sausage night and then broccoli and cauliflower so I get this to snack on but I also want to roast it in the oven with um, some chicken as well so we'll that's kind of a two for one and then I got some mushrooms for one of our meals as well got some half and half um, I usually get heavy cream to make my alfredo sauce but it's actually a lot more expensive so I wanted to try half and half and maybe it'll work maybe it won't we'll we'll see um, got some cream cheese for the mac and cheese and then some cheese down here, some mozzarella for the pizza, and then Parmesan for the Alfredo. And then over here, I just like to keep um, a big bag of cheese on hand because we use it on so many things. We'll use it for our salads, the taco salad, our um, breakfast. So normally whenever I run out, I just get a big thing and just invest in it. I also got a thing of fresh spinach to put in our salads, but it's not looking too hot, so I might have to pick through and figure out what I can keep. I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, down here, I got this Melt and Dip. This is the off-brand uh, Velveeta. This is like three or four dollars cheaper, and it's just as good in my opinion. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, I would definitely suggest the Great Value. Also got some hot dog buns for our um, air fryer hot dogs. This was a substitution. I ordered the Great Value brand, but they had to substitute this. Um, so it's the Texas Toast. That's what I'm planning on doing our barbecue um, chicken grilled cheese. I actually got this this uh, idea from 
Taylor Elmore here on YouTube. Um, I'll leave her channel linked down below if you're interested. Um, I just recently started watching her and I really love her um, content. So anyway, that was an idea from her. So we'll use that for our grilled cheese. And then I also got this bakery garlic bread. I'll cut this in half and um, we can use it for a couple um, dinners. Back here is kind of our quote unquote snacks. So I always like to get something with chocolate. I just like to keep chocolate on hand because <laughs> You know, sometimes you just need a chocolate fix. So I'll go in the cabinet and grab a couple of these and it'll suffice my sweet tooth. So got one of those. And then also um, we love taking these sweet and salty bars in our lunchbox um, just to like, you know, if we're hungry in the morning or in the afternoon. Anyway, we just take those to work. And then that is the brownie mix I'm going to be using for our dessert this week. That is by far the best brownie mix. So if you're in the market for a new brownie mix, try the Ghirardelli. Okay, so here is the rest of it. We're gonna start over here with the meat. Um, I didn't realize that I got so much chicken, but I do have quite a few recipes that call for chicken. So back here, we got some ground beef chuck. That is two and a half pounds, I believe. And then I got some of these chicken thighs for our barbecue chicken and the package is leaking. So I'm gonna have to transfer that to another thing. And then I got some, uh, the family size pack of bacon for a couple of our, um, well, for a dinner and then two of our breakfast. So. Um, yeah, got a big thing of that. And then I also got this big thing of chicken wings. Um, I personally don't like chicken wings, but my husband will. Um, so yeah. And then I got this, uh, thin sliced chicken breasts for a couple of our recipes and I am looking at them and there's not going to be enough for two nights. So I'm going to have to get some more chicken. Um, might have to use chicken thighs. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Um, got some pork sausage for our breakfast. I'll cut this in half and it'll be good for two weeks. And then I got some more eggs. We actually got some farm fresh eggs given to us. So um, I just needed one thing of eggs this week for breakfast. And then um, I got some raw shrimp. These are the small peel domain tail off, easy peasy shrimp. Um, I've actually never cooked shrimp before. So this is gonna be a new territory for me. So stay tuned for the what's for dinner that's gonna be showing you everything that I'm making, but I'm a little nervous because I don't know. I just don't, I don't like to venture as far as meat goes, so we'll see. Um, also got some more of this oven roasted chicken. We love this in chicken Alfredo, but I'm gonna be using it for our chicken Alfredo pizza, so I'm excited about that. Got a um, pepperoni pizza for my husband for the pizza night. He does not like chicken Alfredo. He actually threw a fit when he saw it on the meal plan, so got him one of those, so that's what he can have when we have the Alfredo pizza. Got some shredded hash browns for breakfast, some potatoes back there for a couple of meals. Um, down here, I got some diced ham for the mac and cheese, also for breakfast if we need it. And then I got some rice cauliflower. I'm gonna be making a new, a new recipe with this. I'm really excited. It's from Mandy in the Making, so once again, stay tuned for the what's for dinner. Got some little smokies for our Italian sausage night, which you'll see in the what's for dinner, how I use it. Um, some ham and cheese loaf just for sandwiches. I like to keep some sort of lunch meat on hand just in case we need to take something for a lunch. And then I got some white gravy, some taco seasoning. These are also a couple of um, marinades. Well, this one is a marinade that I'm gonna be using for our Cobb salad for the chicken. And then I'm gonna use this for our um, Italian chicken night. I don't, I don't remember which one I plan on using that for, but anyway, that'll be on top of the chicken. Also, this is the first time that I've ever got these onion rings. I'm gonna cook them in the air fryer with our chicken wing night. So hopefully they turn out really good. If you've ever tried them, let me know down below, I'm curious. And then, let's see, I got some hot dogs for our air fryer hot dogs. And then some angel hair for the lemon shrimp pasta. Also needed some more parsley. You guys know I love parsley. <laughs> and then I have never bought basil before, but one of the recipes actually calls for basil, so I got some of that. And then some canned goods that I got. So I got some black olives for taco salad and also just our regular salads. And then some evaporated milk for our mac and cheese. And then um, some canned vegetables just for dinner. So golden hominy. If you've never tried hominy, you definitely should try it. It's, it has like its own taste, I would say, um, but I really like it. And then some mixed vegetables, some corn and green beans. And then just to keep in the pantry, I got some spaghetti rings and then mini ravioli. What 
did I miss? I feel like I missed something over here. Maybe I didn't. Um, back there, I got some Dr. Thunder for my husband, some root beer for myself. I love having root beer with dinner. It's just really been tasting really good. Also, um, the Great Value Root Beer is just as good, if not better, than the Mug Root Beer. So if you're a fan of root beer, definitely try the Great Value. Over here, we got some more um, pancake syrup for just breakfast. I needed to replenish that. Some olive oil, I needed to replenish that as well. And then this is for my coffee. So I have been loving making my own white chocolate mochas um, at home. And this is the perfect sauce for that. So if you are a fan of Starbucks and you're trying to save a little bit of money, definitely try making it at home. Um, I can link the copycat recipe that I use down below, but it's really good. Also, for our spaghetti night, I wanted to try this Bertoli vodka sauce. Um, normally, I don't buy the Bertoli, but I wanted to try it. Um, I saw somebody use it, but I don't remember who it was. But anyway, I just wanted to try it, so we'll see. I'll let you guys know what's for dinner, what do we, what we think. Um, also, got some more barbecue sauce for our barbecue chicken, a pizza crust for the chicken alfredo pizza and then I got two of these crescent rolls the big and buttery um, for a couple of the dinners over here I got the cinnamon rolls if you've not tried the rose cinnamon rolls you definitely should they do require a little bit of footwork you got to lay them out the night before and make sure that they rise and stuff but I mean they're already made for you, you just got to lay them out and then you just pop them in the oven and they are so so good definitely recommend trying those and then I got some pork sausage patties for breakfast. Normally I like to get the links, but they didn't have them and we needed sausage. So we'll, we'll just deal with this until they're gone. And then I've never had almond milk before, but I'm drinking so much milk in my white chocolate mochas that I wanted to try some almond milk and um, maybe just make it a little bit healthier for myself. Cause you know, you just want to cut where you can. So anyway got some almond milk and it is unsweetened so hopefully I hope that it resembles milk as far as the taste it just is a little bit better for you so I don't know if you're a fan of almond milk please let me know down below I know a lot of people that like almond milk but I don't know I'm just gonna try it so we'll see and then I got some more waffles for breakfast just needed to replenish that back there I did get some more potato chips we eat those with you know anything that we need them with for sandwiches or whatever anyway and then I got some Doritos for our taco salad. Um, I have found that Doritos is one of those things that you cannot replace. So I just, I'm just gonna buy Doritos. And then I got two gallons of 1% milk for my kids. My daughter has to have 1% or it um, upsets her stomach. So we just get 1%. So yeah, I think that is everything that we got for dinner for the next two weeks. Uh -huh.